Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bronwyn. Welcome to my bedroom floor. Today we are keeping it cozy, we're keeping it comfortable, we're keeping it chill. And I wanna talk you through some of my favorite Disney small shops. Now I absolutely love Disney merchandise, we know that. I have so much of it. But I especially love Disney merchandise that are from small shops. I feel like there are so many people in the world that are so creative, that just have all of these like incredible ideas that like I would never even think think of even as somebody that has my own small business like I'm constantly blown away by some of the things that other shops create so I wanted to make a video kind of highlighting some of them I asked you guys recently over on my Instagram what your favorite shops were because I know that there are plenty that I know and love but there are tons that I've never heard of so I wanted to check out some new ones I actually bought a bunch of stuff from different small shops so that I could feature them in this video so I'm very excited to show them to you now there are some small shops that I absolutely love but I'm not gonna talk about in this video just because you know that I love them. But I did just wanna give them a quick shout out in the beginning. Magical Castle Embroidery, y'all know, is like my number one favorite small shop. I absolutely love it. They have such cute stuff. Gingerbread Couture, who I'm also a brand rep for, she makes the cutest scrunchies and ears. She has t-shirts coming out. And the last one is the Pixie Place. Y'all also know that I absolutely love the Pixie Place. They make tons of Disney t-shirts, which are so adorable and perfect for the parks. I will have all of those shops linked down below with my coupon codes if I have one for that shop. But I wanna take this video to highlight some that I really haven't talked about before, I feel like. So first up is homeware. Now, I absolutely love Disney, we all know this, but I don't love to have tons of Disney things in my house. I feel like if you came to my house, like you would never really guess that I was a Disney adult. I do though love to have things that are very subtly Disney that you wouldn't necessarily like look at and be like, oh wow, we get it, you like Disney. But if you see it, you'll be like, ah, that's so fun and magical. Just like a little little hint of pixie dust every now and then. The first up is these, which are, I guess you'd call them candle jars. I don't know the exact name for them, but these are from a shop called Baxter & Co. These actually were very kindly sent to me um, when I asked y'all what your favorite small shops were. They offered to send me these, and I was so excited because they were one of the shops that I was like super interested in buying something from. I think these are so adorable. Now because I did not purchase these, I don't know if this comes with everything or if it's a separate add-on, but I did get a case of fairy lights and then also two little like tea light candles because I'll show you, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it in here because it's daytime, but when you have like a candle or the lights in there, you can see like the design come through. No lights, light. So pretty. So there's this one that has Cinderella Castle. And then there's also this one that has Sleeping Beauty Castle. I think both of these are so pretty. I've had them sitting on a table in my living room for the past couple of weeks and they've just been such a nice little touch. Like, especially if the light isn't on in it, like you wouldn't look twice at this and be like, okay, we get it, you like the Disney castles. The quality of them is incredible. I just think that they're so subtle and nice and pretty. They're so well made. I absolutely love these. Next up is Simply Magic Home, and I actually bought two cups from her. Unfortunately, USPS broke one of them, so she is very kindly sending me a new one, but it hasn't arrived yet. But the one that I do have here is one of the Marvel ones, so all of the symbols on it are different little Marvel symbols. So we've got Loki, we got Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Doctor Strange, Wanda made it on there. That was a big selling point for me. And the other one that I got, I will post a picture of, but it's the same kind of cup, but instead of the Marvel symbols, it has different princesses crowns on it which I think is so precious obviously anything that's like a cup or a mug is so easy to have Disney because it's gonna sit in your cabinet it's not something that's always gonna be out on display like for everybody to see but every time that I use this it just makes me smile and I just I think it's so fun Next, I actually have two different companies that I wanna talk about. One is Relive the Magic at Home, and the other is Main Street Melts Candle Company. Both of these make Disney-scented candles. That is just the best thing in the entire world. Do you want your house to smell like mousekeeping? Absolutely. Do you want your house to smell like the beach club, they make it happen. I'm a big candle snob. I always have candles burning. I just think they're such a nice touch to a home. And having Disney scents is truly just such a game changer. Both of them offer different sized candles. They also both offer wax melts. I know Relieve the Magic at Home also has like bath salts, bath fizz. I don't know what they're called, but like 
stuff you can put in your bath. And I don't know how they do it, but they just perfectly capture the scents that are in Disney World. And they have everything. There's like Mickey Waffles, Dole Whip, Beach Club, Pandora, Flight of Passage, like Pirate's Water, literally any Disney scent that you love, they make it happen. I also love the packaging for them that they all have their cute little like labels. I just think that that is such a fun touch. Last but not least for like homeware, home decor is called Grape Soda Co. Now I have been following this shop on Instagram for so long, but I had never bought anything and I'm not really sure why. They make tons of stuff. They have keychains, they make face masks, they have pillows, they have phone cases, they have jewelry, like charm bracelets, and everything is just, it's adorable. It's just like the pastel stuff of my dreams, which is so silly because so much of this stuff is pastel and what I have here is completely the opposite of pastel but i bought this which is like a little motel key inspired like keychain and mine is for the hollywood tower hotel it says glitz and glamour hollywood tower hotel key to another dimension 1939 and then on the back it has a bunch of like tower of terror kind of symbols tower of terror is my favorite ride and i just think this is such a fun like subtle little way to add like a little bit of disney to your keys i also have this one which I think it's from World Traveling Co. I've had this one for a really long time, so I don't remember, but I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, who doesn't love just like a nice little keychain to add a touch of magic? And especially, I just think this is so cool because Tower is obviously not a real hotel, but a hotel. So it just makes sense as a keychain. Next up is Disney t-shirts. There are so many Disney t-shirt small shops and I absolutely love all of them. Everybody is so unique and creative with their designs. I love it. I do not consider myself to be a fashionable person, but I know that a lot of y'all think that I am. So instead of just like showing you the t-shirts, I'm going to show you how I would style them if I was going to wear them in the parks. I preemptively took off the little jersey that I had over my tank top. Um, but the first shot that we're going to talk about is Once Upon a Brawn. I can't do a small shop video and not talk about my own small shop at least a little bit. If you didn't know, I have my own Disney shop. Um, I make t-shirts, stickers, pin banners, cups, like a little bit of everything. Um, so the first shirt that we're gonna style a little bit it is this one. This is my carousel of color tee that I made for Flower and Garden. So let's build a cute little outfit. Okay, first of all, why have I never worn this fit in a park before? This is so cute. So here obviously is what the shirt looks like on. They are currently available in the shop if you wanna grab one. And then I paired it with this little skirt, which is from Princess Polly. I feel like people are always like, no, I don't wanna look cute in the parks. Like it's too freaking hot. My thing is like, skirts are so breezy. I think this is like cooler than if I was wearing shorts. Cause you got more, you got more space for air, you know? I think this is cute. And honestly, I probably, I don't have shoes on right now. I probably just pair it with like my white tennis shoes that I literally wear every day from Amazon. But I think this is so cute. So fun, so precious, so magical. Next up is a shop called Winnie Mae Designs, which is entirely a Marvel based shop. Y'all know I am such a big Marvel fan and she pays so much tribute to my girl Wanda. It just makes me so happy. I bought two shirts from her in the last like couple of weeks because I'm obsessed. This is the first one which has all of the infinity stones on it. I wore this when we had our preview for Cosmic Rewind at Epcot. Super cute and I just wore it with some black bikers. I'll post a picture of it now. And then the other one that I have which we're gonna style in just a second is this one. Let's make a little outfit. Is it too hot for jeans in Florida? Absolutely. Did that stop me from putting on jeans for this outfit? Absolutely not. Listen, if you want to wear jeans when it's 90 degrees outside, go for it. More power to you. But I feel like this would definitely be more of a like fall vibe. But I think this is cute. Again, would probably just wear it with like white tennis shoes. I'm a big fan of an oversized tee with jeans, shorts, whatever. Um, basically all my tees, I like to order two sizes up for my regular size just to make it a little bit more oversized. And I think that this is just such a fun fit. And imagine it, I have the Wanda ears. Imagine that all together. Like, come on, that's so cute. I absolutely love this design. The 70s episode of Wanda is my favorite of the like decade episodes when I saw this had to have it and i love that like they're on the tv you got her behind it like i just think that this is so cute definitely this fit 
it's a vibe once the weather cools down a little bit in i don't know six months you will see this on my instagram act surprised please and thank you the next shirt is actually one that i wore in disneyland it's actually kind of similar to this one like same vibes i feel like but this is the shirt i wore this in california adventure when we went to disneyland so cute i don't remember if i said so i'm gonna say it again um this is from a shop called sunshine seekers they have like such cool designs every time and one of the things that they are most known for are their hats now i do have a hat like this my first one was from my sister i got for christmas which is also from a small shop on etsy but i don't know the exact name of it so i'm gonna show you this one just because i know and love sunshine seekers I wore this when y'all controlled my day at DAC and I got so many questions about it. I haven't worn a bucket hat since I had short hair. Hold on, let's figure out how to style this. There we go, that's better. I love bucket hats. Ever since I went to Disneyland, I'm a big bucket hat gal and throwing Mickey ears on it, like, I just think it looks so cool. Like, even this all together, like, come on. I look like a cool kid. If I saw somebody wearing this across the park, I'd be like, oh, you're too cool for school. Like, for real. <laughs> Am I showing my age by saying too cool for school? I don't know. But they have these hats in tons of different colors. They also have them as like baseball caps with ears. Again, if you are somebody that likes to be more casual for the parks, it's fun to throw on like a cute hat that has ears just to add that little extra bit of pixie dust. Last but certainly not least is Fantasy Feelings. They have very kindly sent me a bunch of shirts over the past few years. So we are today are gonna style this one because I love Epcot. This one is definitely a little bit more summertime friendly because I paired it with jean shorts. These shorts are from, I think these ones are Zara or Princess Polly, but I like that they're a little bit longer. So even though the shirt is pretty oversized on me, you can still see that I have shorts on. I also have in the past for these, I still have my little tank top on, so I don't think I can do it with this. But um, if you like tuck it basically like underneath your bra, it like gives the illusion, oh, you can kind of tell that it's cropped and you didn't crop it. Um, I do that with t-shirts a lot. If I like want to be able to see my shorts or if you want to let it all hang out, you absolutely can too. I feel like a lot of these shops kind of have the same vibe. And I think that I'm so drawn to these because like, I don't know how to make shirts look like this. I just think that they're like so creative. They're so cool. Like, I love this. Let me show you some other ones from Fantasy Feelings that I have. This is another one that I absolutely love. It's the like opening um, day of Disneyland speech. Don't look too hard at it because I did wear it yesterday and I kind of got some makeup on it. It's okay. But I just love like the simplicity behind these and that they're super neutral. So if you want to pair them with like hot pink shorts, you 100% can do that and it'll still look cool you know if you have never looked into any of these shops i highly 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 recommend that you check them out and also let me know your favorite small shops down below because i love to find new ones i love to support small businesses and i'd love to just get fun new disney stuff you can never have enough right like i said i will have all of the shops that i mentioned linked down below so you can go and check them out as well as the ones that i have codes for i will let you know the discount code as well but yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun filming it and finding all of these new shops to support Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all again real soon. Bye